have to ask. President's Cup, back in Australia, playing just a, like a magnificent, like top golf, like one of the best golfers in the world. I'm sure you've played around it a few times, right? Yeah. Who are you going to pick? I, I know there's probably some bias here. Well, like on paper, America's going to run all over, right? You know, on paper. Um, but at the end of the day, Royal Melbourne, which is my favorite golf course in the world, I remember that. I know it like back in my hand. Um, it has some little hidden secrets, right? And if Ernie Els and Jeff Ogilvy, who also plays a lot of golf there, can hand on these little hidden secrets about Royal Melbourne, then they may have an advantage. But they're definitely the underdog. I'm poor for them because, yeah, really, the president, we haven't won one in 20 years. Right? <laughs> so hopefully they have a chance to play out of this. There's a lot, I mean, I listen to Michael Clayton a lot, talk about golf and talk about Royal Melbourne and talk about design. And there's a lot of little hidden secrets it's like you say around the golf course, it's not what we consider to be like target golf in the traditional sense of land it and stop it. You've got to really work it. I think that's where you know there's going to be an advantage for that own team. Well, Royal Melbourne is one of the few golf courses in the world that you've got to know where the whole location is before you tee up. <laughs> because the fairways are yeah. so wide, right? And Royal Melbourne, you're better off being 30 feet under the hole, cutting uphill, than three feet above the hole, cutting down the where they have a 30 foot coming back. Yeah. So it's understanding where the whole location is. Then you've got to hit it in a five yard by five yard square quadrant in the fairway to have the best angle of attack for that whole location. So there are the little nuances that you need to know. If you know them well enough, you can really get at more if you don't know well enough. That's the key to like great architecture, right? Absolutely. Wonderful. Greg, I really appreciate your time. Thank you.